guys what is going on today I'm gonna do something a little different uh, I'm gonna start a little series on basically tech tips for working on LS motors or LS related even transmission rear end that kind of stuff that goes common with LS swaps so what happened to me on I believe it was Thursday I put new spark plugs in this truck here and on that very back cylinder down there the spark plugs locket got stuck or stuck so I couldn't get any tools in there to pull on it, to get pliers, any angle pliers, nothing had good enough grip to get it in there. And I always wondered all this time why spark plug sockets get stuck in LS's. And I didn't know why. I always thought maybe it was because it kinked sideways and the, the hex part of it got jammed up inside the socket. Or maybe it was the rubber thing that was causing the issue. And that's why. Because it always seems like if you're just not on the perfect angle in an LS cylinder head when you're doing a spark plug and you torque it, it just gets kind of cocked in there and then you cannot pull that thing out. You just have to tap it with a hammer or get some really good pliers on it and really, really pull on it. So I was like, there's gotta be something to this. Like this isn't, this doesn't happen with everything else. Like it, it's not common for your spark plug socket to get stuck in the cylinder head and not come out. So then I started looking at the cylinder heads and looking at the end of the sockets. So I have a few sockets here and these are like your generic, like uh, Craftsman, Stanley, pretty much the same socket everyone's gonna have for doing spark plugs in. and it's fairly thin like on the end of this like these are actually pretty thin wall sockets but when I took a look at this one here which pretty much has done all LS uh, spark plugs I started noticing there's a bunch of wear on the end of this tip just on just on this like about 3 16 of an inch on the end of it and I'm like well, why is it doing that I'm like maybe that's why it's getting stuck so I went and started looking inside the cylinder head I don't know if you guys can see if I can get the light just right, but there's a there's a step in there, and that step is actually where the socket gets stuck. So what happens with these spark plug sockets is they actually get jammed right in there. So I take that, I just say tap it in there to simulate it getting stuck. That thing is not coming out of there for anything. Like you, there's no way you're getting that out of there. You can put big pliers on it. And it's like, there, it is like freaking stuck in there. Until you tap it with a hammer, which with the spark plug on it, it's pretty much impossible to do to get it to move this much. Then you can get it out of there. So what I did was, I took the spark plug socket and I ground probably about half the thickness off of uh, just the tip of it. And you can see compared to this one here, we'll put that in there. And you can see it fits nice and loose in there. Like you can tap in there all day long with a hammer. And uh, the spark plug socket just come out. It'll never cock in there because that little step in there is not going to bind on the edge of this spark plug socket anymore. So, this is one of the weird little things that I learned even just now after doing this. Like, I don't even know how many spark plugs I've changed in an LS, maybe 200, 300 spark plugs in an LS. And I've always just been like, why is the spark plug socket always getting stuck in there and jamming up and just making you mad? And then, yeah, the other day when it happened in this truck and I couldn't get it out, I had to actually remove the spark plug and then it actually pulled itself out. Then I kind of realized that there's something to do with how far it's going into the cylinder head. And then once I looked in the cylinder head, I seen that step in there. So if you guys are working on LS's and you know what I'm talking about, just grind the tip of your spark plug socket a little bit and uh, it'll go right on in there. So uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. Get out in the garage, quit talking about it, start being about it. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get those subs up. All right, guys, see you in the next one.